is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for July 27th, 2021. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Sponsored by the Main Hair Lounge, 393 Worcester Road in Framingham. If you want rockin' hair, log on to mainhairlounge.com. Just announced the rival sons are hitting the road with their Pressure and Time 10-year anniversary tour with Dorothy as the supporting act. They're headed to the House of Blues in Boston on October 24th, and tickets are on sale right now through Ticketmaster. Singer R. Kelly, who's set to stand trial in New York later this summer on racketeering charges, may have also abused an underage boy, according to new court documents. The allegations are not part of new charges against Kelly, but rather are part of an effort by prosecutors to expand the evidence that jurors can hear. These uncharged acts include allegations of sexual abuse of minors, hush payments, physical abuse, and bribery. Alan Kovac, the head of Better Noise Music and former manager of Tommy Vexed, has commented on the musician's recent lawsuit against him. In a statement released yesterday, Kovac also responded to Vex claims that the music executive lobbed racist remarks during that time. Tommy Vex filed a suit for breach of contract and breach of fiduciary duty and was reported to be suing Kovac for more than $10 million. Tommy Vex, who was ousted from Bad Wolves at the start of 2021, claimed there was a conspiracy to have him kicked out of the group. He also contended that Alan Kovac, who was identified as Bad Wolves' co-founder in the suit, told him that he was, quote, not black enough to be in the band due to his political ideologies. Tommy Vex has further indicated that Kovac used racial slurs, including the N-word, around him. In his reply, the Better Noise music founder and CEO denied all of Vex charges against him, saying, quote, I am disappointed to see these accusations from Tommy against me, my management firm, 10th Street Entertainment and Better Noise Music. They are categorically false. In 40 years in the music business, I have never made any derogatory racist comments, been accused of doing so or been sued by an artist. Tommy Vext is a self-proclaimed QAnon supporter, has dragged us into a ridiculous, unfounded narrative, and falsely paints him as the victim. Tommy quit Bad Wolves in January of 2021 after being abusive to his band members, and he has since waged an all-out assault against the band and members on social media. Behind the scenes, he and his team of lawyers have been trying to extort the band and the record company for a big payout. However, because these tactics were, quote, not successful, Vexed up the ante and filed this bogus and spurious lawsuit to get leverage in contract negotiations. But this strategic ploy won't work. We will not be extorted and we will defend and defeat these phony claims in court. Metallica have announced a quote unquote intimate gig at the Hard Rock Live at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, coming up on Thursday, November 4th. The show will be presented by Metallica's Black and American Whiskey. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. The venue holds 7,000 people, which is much smaller than the stadiums Metallica is used to playing. The next Slash album featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators is to be released via a newly launched Gibson record label. Gibson today announced the launch of Gibson Records, headquartered in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, alongside a strategic label partnership with BMG. We are excited to launch Gibson Records and to announce that Slash is our first signed artist that we have entered into a label partnership with BMG. Anthrax continuing to celebrate their 40th anniversary with their docu-series and a recent live stream. And now, according to bassist Frank Bello, the band has been working on new music. I think we have six to seven songs right now that we're working on, and there will be another record in 2022. Metal Church lead singer Mike Howe has passed away at the age of 55, and there was no cause of death revealed. And finally, Leonard Skinner guitar player Gary Rossington is recovering after emergency heart surgery. Thin Lizzy guitarist Damon Johnson was called up to fill in for the Leonard Skinner founding member while he recovers from surgery. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all the stories, check the show notes of this podcast. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 59 featuring Dan Murphy from All Good Things is available now.